Hey, how's it going, guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5, I'm going to be showing you guys a brand new Easter egg regarding Gay Tony Prince and Luis Lopez from Grand Theft Auto 4, The Ballad of Gay Tony. Now, I believe the first person to discover this was my good friend, Zach Cox TV. You'll find his link in the description. He's the one who told me about this. And I am a huge Ballad of Gay Tony fan. It was the, one of the best GTA DLCs ever released. In my opinion, if you have an Xbox 360 or a PS3 or even have it on PC, go back and play The Ballad of Gay Tony, one of the best DLCs ever released. And the two main characters from that were Gay Tony and Luis Lopez. Gay Tony was a nightclub owner, and Luis Lopez was kind of like his hitman slash business partner. And there haven't been any Easter eggs found in Grand Theft Auto V of these two characters until right now. What you need to do is go into Jimmy's room in Michael DeSanta's house, and if you go right underneath your TV, you'll see this like residide magazine or whatever it might be. And on the cover, it has a photo of Luis Lopez and also mentions Tony Prince and his nightclubs. This is pretty cool. Now, I'll put a full blown up image on the screen right now so you can kind of see what it looks like. I recorded this on the PS4 or the console, so it is a little hard to read. If you do have it on the PC, it might be slightly uh, more better to read or easier to read. You might be able to make out a little bit of the smaller text. But nevertheless, this is extremely cool because this is the first mention of these two characters in Grand Theft Auto V. Nico Bellic, the main protagonist from Grand Theft Auto 4, has a two or three Easter eggs within the game where you, you can actually hear him be mentioned there was a an eastern european guy making moves in liberty city but yeah, he went quiet uh johnny klebitz actually appears in the game you guys know when trevor stomps on his head and actually like skull crushes him fucking shit cut 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 who the fuck are you speaking to who who i'm talking to you huh you Fuck! Johnny! Huh? Next time, don't get in my fucking face! But this is actually the first time that Tony Prince and Luis Lopez have been mentioned in the game. There are no verbal or audio cues. They don't actually appear in the game. This is the first mention of them on this magazine in Jimmy DeSanta's room. Now, honestly, it would be incredible to have these two characters return. If you guys don't remember, at the very end of the Ballad of Gay Tony, Tony actually says that he wants to move out west, maybe somewhere San Francisco or even Los Santos. That might fall into the category of moving out west. So in a future DLC, could there possibly be a Gay Tony Prince and Luis Lopez in Grand Theft Auto V? I know Luis Lopez is by far a fan favorite, and I love Tony Prince just because of his hilarity and how silly he is, but I do think this would be really cool to eventually see these two characters return back into the game. I don't think Nico Bellic is going to come back. I've explained that in a video that I've done in the past. There's actually like some issues that go on with the guy who actually plays Nico Bellic in Rockstar Games. Obviously, Johnny Klebitz came back. He was a big part of the game in terms of getting his head stomped by Trevor Phillips. But nevertheless, I did think this was really cool. And honestly, I'm excited about the potential of having Luis Lopez and Gay Tony return. But for now, the first Easter egg of them is found and this is really cool because for right now, they were totally lost from this game. There was no mention of Tony Prince and Luis Lopez. Now, granted, this Easter egg was probably here for a while. We just not discovered it. So this is awesome. And I do think this is a really cool find. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Would you like to see gay Tony Prince and Luis Lopez possibly return in a future GTA or possible DLC? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video, a like rating would be awesome. So go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. That would be amazing. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.